Good morning, sons and daughters of God. January 29th, chapter 29, countless angels ready to help us. Revelation 5, 11 says, And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. When Christ ascended to the Father, he did not leave his followers without help. The Holy Spirit, as his representative, and the heavenly angels as ministering spirits are sent forth to aid those who, against great odds, are fighting the good fight of faith. Ever remember that Jesus is your helper. No one understands as well as he your peculiarities of character. He is watching over you, and if you are willing to be guided by him, he will throw around you influences for good that will enable you to accomplish all his will for you. Nothing is apparently more helpless, yet really more invincible than the soul that feels its nothingness and relies wholly on the merits of the Savior. God would send every angel in heaven to the aid of such a one, rather than allow him to be overcome. Angels are God's ministers, radiant with the light ever flowing from his presence and speeding on rapid wing to execute his will. Angels are ever present where they are most needed, with those who have the hardest battle with self to fight, and those surroundings are the most discouraging. In all ages, angels have been near to Christ's faithful followers. The vast confederacy of evil is arrayed against all who would overcome, but Christ would have us look to the things which are not seen, to the armies of heaven encamped about all who love God to deliver them. From what danger, seen and unseen, we have been preserved through the interposition of the angels. We shall never know until in the light of eternity we see the providences of God. Then we shall know that the whole family of heaven was interested in the family here below, and that messengers from the throne of God attended our steps from day to day. Have a wonderful day. You are a son and daughter of God.